Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, Tatanungin ko lang si Atty. Paul yan, no? Uh, alam mo, bugbog ka na talaga dito at kung talagang ikaw ang gumawa nito, mananagot ka talaga sa batas. Now, ang tanong ko sa'yo, ginawa mo ba ito on your own volition? Or somebody ordered you to do this? Kasi, alam mo, kanina ka pa namin tinatanong ni D.S. Marcoleta, no? Talagang sa iyo pumapokus na ikaw lang ang gumawa ng kasalanan. Kitang-kita namin dito sa lahat na ikaw talaga ang gumawa at ikaw ang nag-offer sa, sa board. Now, ikaw pa talaga ang gumawa o may nag-uto sa iyo na gawin ito? Attorney Pukalan, let me just remind you that you are under oath. At lahat po na sinasabi niyo dito, we will use in a committee report. So, pwede ko kung magsasalita na kayo, magsalita na kayo dito. Eh, this is your chance, ano, Attorney Pukalan. This is your chance. Another thing, just a warning, Attorney. This might be a ground for your disbarment for rendering an opinion that a decision of court of appeals can be modified by an administrative body. Sige, Atty. Paul Yan, maaari mo ba sagutin ang katanungan? Again, sir, I stand by that opinion. May nag-utos ba sa'yo o wala? Yun lang ang sasagutin mo. May nag-utos ba sa'yo o wala? Yes, sir. The board, sir... May nag-utos ba sa'yo o wala? Yes, sir. No lang. Wala naman po, sir. So, wala nag-utos. Opo. So, ang lahat ng responsibilidad ay inaako mo. I stand by, sir, by that opinion because that was also affirmed by the OGCC. Then, although I warned the board that uh, there will be a possible... Remember, Attorney Pugalian, you are under oath. Ha? Yes, one, one. You are under oath. Attorney Bersaga. Uh, Congressman Bersaga, I'm sorry. Right now, do you think that you can change or modify the decision of the Court of Appeals, which is already final and executory? Please, sir, on the exception, sir. Uh, what exceptions? There, there's an exception on the substantive. Uh, no, the substantive, sub uh, substantive justice. Ang magche-change will be the court which render the decision, but not another agency. Yung ba sinasabi mong exceptions? Pilhet ang magde-determine kung pwede palitan o hindi. Sir, because under RA 78-75... Hindi ha, tinatanong ko na lamang. Yung sinasabi mong exceptions na pwedeng palitan o i-modify ang desisyon ng Court of Appeals, ang magmomodify ba o magpapalit ay ang board ng PhilHealth, officialist ng PhilHealth. Yes, sir, because the quasi may... judicial power is vested in the Hindi nga, pag sinabi natin judicial powers, does PhilHealth have judicial powers? Quasi judicial power, sir. Oh, ang judicial power, ang tatanungin mo, very clear sa constitution. Judicial power shall be vested in the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Executive sa Executive Department, legislation sa amin. Kaya ang tinatanong ko sa iyo, as a lawyer, right now, sinasabi mo ba sa amin, kayong mga congressman, dapat niyong malaman na ang decision ng Korte Suprema, ang decision ng Court of Appeals, kahit na final and executory, pwede namin palitan sa PILEL. Is that what you are saying right now? Since the field health board, sir, has the quasi-judicial authority to penalize... Oh, nga, balik na naman tayo sa quasi-judicial. Eh. Anyway, Honorable Bersaga, Mr. Chairman... Ay, naglulokan na lang tayo dito. I'm sorry. Mr. Chairman, okay, Honorable Fernandez... I mean, that he be in contact. I second the motion, Mr. Chairman. I was about to say that. Mr. Chairman, session suspended. Hearing resume, Honorable Bersaga. Yes, I would like to make this motion. I most respectfully move, Mr. Chairman, that we cited, that we cite Attorney Jonathan Bukalian for contempt, for misleading the lawyers as well as the public that an unadministrative agency like the pillar can change or modify the decision of the Court of Appeals, which is already final and executory. And that would actually constitute a disrespectful conduct or behavior in our proceedings. And that I base on my knowledge as a lawyer. And I think most lawyers, if not all, would agree with me. 
that there must be finality in so far as judicial decisions are concerned. There is a motion. Very dangerous precedent. Even if there is already a decision coming from the Supreme Court based on this precedent, they can modify and change the decision of the Supreme Court, all the final and executory. I second there the is a okay. motion duly seconded. Second the motion, Mr. Chairman. Are there any objections from Zoom? Are there any objections? There being none, motion is carried. My next question. In a declaration of contempt, sa atin pong pagdeklara ng contempt, ano pong parusa ang ipapataw, Honorable Barsaga? Well, I move that he be detained in the... before the House up to Monday. Okay. The motion is to declare in contempt and to detain him for three days. Are there any objections? From plenary, from Zoom, there being none, the motion and the penalty is by carried. Tony Pokalan, you are declared in contempt. Dito ka po sa Kongreso hanggang lunes. Uh, I will ask the Sergeant at Arms to designate an area given that we are in a COVID pandemic. So with that, uh, I will uh, suspend session so that the Sergeant at Arms can accompany Attorney Pokolan to the designated area. Session suspended. Uh, Sergeant Adams, let's uh, make sure that the place where he will be detained is a comfortable and convenient place, Mr. Chairman.